Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, where we break down the latest ASX announcements from public companies that are doing interesting things. Today's Bulls and Bears is brought to you by State Gas, ASX code GAS. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Executive Chairman of State Gas, Richard Cotty. Hi, Richard. Hi, Matt. How are you? Good. State Gas is an onshore gas developer currently working up two adjacent projects west of Gladstone in Queensland's prolific Bowen Basin gas field. The first is the Reeds Dome project and the second is the Rolleston West project, both of which are exquisitely located almost at the end of an existing pipeline that runs all the way through to the port of Gladstone, providing access potentially to a stack of pre-existing gas infrastructure that State Gas could make use of. Uh, Richard, it looks like you've hit coal seam gas again in a second well at your Rolleston West project. What are the headline results from the latest drilling campaign at your Rougemont 2 well at Rolleston West? Extremely elevated permeability, uh, eight metres of net coal. We'll find out the gas content through the uh, core at the lab. That's very important because permeability is the greatest of the trifecta determining economic, and I have not seen this sort of permeability since my early days at Queensland Gas Company. Your other project just to the southwest of Rolleston West is the Reeds Dome project. What have you discovered down there? We've got four wells on production and we are a petroleum lease so we are anticipating that we will be able to move to the next phase of contracting and reserve certification. We're targeting to try and hit the market at the precise point the recent ACCC report said was the country was in dire need of gas. What sort of gas flows are you seeing out of those four wells? We saw it nine to four up to 700 cubic feet per day when we went through a fraction that's highly fractured. We're present doing about 140 there, about 220 across the four wells, which is uh, pretty encouraging. In terms of production, which of your two key projects do you think will be first in line for development and why? Greenstone will be first because it's already a petroleum lease. It's 50 k's from the pipeline, but it goes via the Rougemont area, which is only 30 k's to the pipeline. So what we intend to do is to make the infrastructure repaid for by uh, Reed Stone, and basically uh, Rougemont will become a brownfield development that let the money keep rolling in. Uh, yeah, look, the price of natural gas I see has doubled over the last 12 months, so your timing's pretty damn good. Uh, who are you planning to sell your gas to and how? Ideally, I'd like it to go to the domestic, but we're really lucky in the sense that we're one of the few tenements that doesn't have a domestic reservation attached to it. So we can actually go where the greatest need is. As Adam Smith calls it, price will be the market clearing mechanism. Richard Cotty from State Gas, thanks for joining me today. And remember, Bulls and Bears is only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney, and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews, go to the money page at 6pr.com.au and click the Public Companies tab.